Yeah, we're definitely going to have to wait and see. And I, I, I've played against a lot of these guys in eights. And, man, do I get smoked, especially as we're starting off with number one here, Mr. Shash himself. This man loves to get under my skin in those eights. As he's going to be going up on the street side, going to be looking for some picks. This is a nice big contest happening in the center at the moment. As he's going to be able to get the first because it looks like he's going to be swift, grabbing the two-piece off the bat. But Diver is going to be able to clean that up and try to get it back here for New York. But so for so far, it looks like it's going to be Florida who's going to be getting the first few seconds. Yeah, Florida's done a really great job of breaking onto this hill and holding all the right angles. Soch is holding down the street. Spices is pushed up. Not going to be able to find that kill, though, but the trades are quickly in, covering all the angles. They've got Eskies. They've got the gold hallway. they got the street on lockdown. They're only getting more reinforcements that are coming off spot. Yeah, but it looks like it's going to be New York really struggling to try to get these P2 spawns that are just so, so needed. And they're losing a lot of this time here on P1 as well. So nothing going in their favor as Swift is going to be able to pick up two once again. It's going to be up to Sadman up at the top. Fellow caster up there. Going to be trying to make a play through Lobby. He's trying to make the play through P2. But look where Big Foo is. He's going to be ready for this one. New York subpar. Not a great start at all. Yeah, it's a really good job by Big Foo to back up there to top cops. Secure those spawn, those street spawns for his teammates off of that P1. But the break now is starting to form for New York. They're pushing around the street. They've got a three-pronged approach, but Spice is going to find Sad Man there. Spudnik not going to be able to find that trade. And the kills are just going the way of Florida right now, taking a about 40-point lead. Man, you look at the KDs already, and you see Florida just completely outplaying New York at the moment, just all across the board. Sad man without a kill. Florida just shutting him down early. It's going to be 54 to 9. Going into this is P2. Now New York starting to stack up inside of that lobby area, but they still cannot get it done. They're trying to push through mid now, but they're still getting cleaned up. Florida is all over them as Spices coming in hot there with that 74U, making a statement early. Florida starting to rotate, and it's already looking grim for New York, and we're not even at P3 yet. Yeah, honestly, Florida might just be Moscow guru gurus. Looking at the mini map, these setups, these push outs toward the new hill, the rotations, the kill feed, it's just all in their favor right now. They know when to push out on the game clock. They know what to look at when they're holding onto these hills to prevent breaks. And they just know where New York subpar are going to be. Yep, they just got everything on lockdown right now. This looks like it's been practiced over and over and over again as Florida going to hit that sentry mark so, so early in New York. Going to try to desperately to make a break here. Sad man with a good start on that as he grabs one. He grabs Satch in the back. Now looking for Big Foo over towards the entrance. He's going to be able to find him. Great kills out of Sad man so far. Starting to make the break. It looks like it's going to be New York now securing the spawns. But Florida still gaining a lot of this time and still gaining a lot of the kills. And it looks like New York just can't capitalize after such a good initial break. Yeah, when you have someone on hill, you know that your elbow and that bench heady on the hill has to oh be clear. Oh, my Still God. The reinforcements from Florida can just fly in, straight gunning in the back of library. They can push up. They know that the spawns are in. And then New York haven't gotten a point since the first hill. They haven't even touched it. Not even a lick of it as it's going to be Florida up to 136 to 9 as they start moving over towards this P4. Sadman starting to make some plays. He's going to take down Spices. It might be New York trying to get this first time. But look where Sash is. He's going to be on that heady. He's going to go down though, New York. Now is a chance to get some time here. This will be a big, big hold if they're able to get a full 60 here. Yeah, this hold would put them right back in the ball game, only be about a hill and a half away, which is not that much when you consider the rotations on this map, but the kill feed just continues to go the way of Florida. They're finding all, but Sputnik finds a huge two-piece from that rat. He has to wait for reinforcements, though, and the players from Florida are just flying at him. Spices, you gotta get that kill, though. Where are you going? Two players on the hill now, and the reinforcements from New York are spawning street side. They're gonna be closer, and they have help. They have help, and it's going to be Florida still maintaining those bank spawns, which allowed them to finally make the play and break New York out of this hill. But New York got a bit of time there, got up to about 25. But look at, again, that score continuing to climb here for Florida. They start moving over towards the P1 side, and it looks like they have flipped over towards P2. And this is going to be good for them to start out with, but they got to hold this P1 if they're really trying to get away with this victory. Yeah, New York subpar, look at they're about to finally secure a solid rotation into this P1. The spawns are even going out for Florida at this point. They're spawning out P3, they're spawning out Street, but here comes the push now. Big Foo gets taken down, and it's now going to be a three-pronged attack for Florida. Swift picks up the one Street, Soch there as well. He's going to find that P1 opening, and now New York off spawn have to retaliate. This is amazing out of Florida. I got to give it to him. Even when they got, you know, had a little bit of a 
you know, got on their heels a little bit toward the end there, and New York started to push them back. They didn't really let up that much. They they kind of regrouped and just got right back and did what they need to do and relied on their gun skill, which, as you can see, is really flying. We look at the KDs. We got Swift at 16 and 7, Spices at 10 and 7, and it's just it's just nasty stuff over for Florida as they're moving closer and closer toward that 200 mark. As it looks like the contest is starting to come in, New York's gonna get a break and get this scrap time. And I think some splits are happening here because seeing Big Foo come around apartment side over towards Street, and I'm not really sure who's running over towards P2 right now, but it's probably gonna be Florida here in a second. Yeah, so as of right now, and probably continuing into this P2, we're going to see some weird parallels. That player 2 will probably be the last person to spawn completely out, and now we'll probably see some splits between lobby spawns and the street spawns. Unfortunately, though, P3 going to get that very deep spawn as that last kill comes through, and that will finally solidify the spawns for New York subpar. If they get a good 50 here, then they might be able to bring this one back, but if they lose this time, it will certainly be a death sentence. Certainly be his death sentence. You're absolutely right about that. I mean, they got to hold this. This would be a big, big hold for them. And P2 is such a hard hill to break. But as I say that, look at Florida again, just pushing through the front and just getting nasty with it, getting all the kills they need to get. Still not securing spawns quite yet, but they're able to get New York off at the big time. They should be able to get to the 200 mark right here. And look at where the Florida is. We got, looks like it's Spices and Swift starting to move through street right now to get ready for P3. And New York still just struggling at the moment. They're going to get a little bit of this scrap time, but but they really need to go big on this next hill. Yeah, Sam beginning of the tour will be absolutely huge if New York want to stay in the game. Make wow, it the cruise Sam. there as Satch gets that taking down that beam on Sam P. Going to really come in handy. These streaks have to be used in a quality way, though, if they want to catch up. A certain a couple rotations could probably bring them back in the swing of things, but Swift's trying to shut that thought down. Immediately finds one, doesn't find the second as Sam P. Continues on his tear, but eventually gets taken down. And Florida going to have to hold of the spawns and the hill for now. Yeah, but here come the streaks early. Sampy's just going to use them. He's got to get Florida off the hill. He's going to come in with the cruise, but not quite able to find anybody. And it looks like it's Florida continuing to hold down the fort. New York starting to push him aside. Spunding with a big kill there, but Spice is going to clean that up. They got one more player toward the outside. I believe it was sad, but he's going to get taken down. But look at this now. New York getting those bank spawns before Florida still eating up a good chunk of this time. They're going to keep trying to push, but look where Spices is. He's going to be able to read this. He's going to be able to get Spucknik. He's going to be able to get somebody else. He looked for sad man. Gonna be able to get him as well. Big kill. Him. He's away at Sampy, but Sampy gonna warrior that one. That was really close. That would have been an outstanding play there out of Spices. They got a good chunk of the time, and now it's gonna be go time here on P4. Yeah, this rotation still heavily contested, and Divergen winning that one might secure that rotation. The fight's still happening in gold, and that's going to clean it up. This hill will certainly be in favor of New York subpar as the streaks are coming through. It's actually preventing his own team from hopping all the time, and they know that all the players have to foot through bank, but Sampy gets taken down. Shot in the back, Big Foo as well, helping out the hill, and that's going to be three down for New York. The moment they have the rotation, Florida just responds with a massive wave of kills. Spawn secured, point secured. Florida is just running away with this. New York going to try to avoid the 100 point club here as they start to make the move up towards street. But Florida's just got their number in every way right now. All the kills are coming in. Florida, can't, I'm sorry, New York can't even catch a break right now. And Swift with the flank to grab two. And that's putting New York way in the back. It's going to get to 240 before they even have a chance at this. They're going to come through right now and try to make one final play. I actually don't know if Florida's going to be ready for this push, but it's going to be it's going to be just Sputnik by himself. He's going to get taken out. One more push here from Sadman. All the Florida needs to do is get these kills. Looks like they're going to do it. Florida with an early 100-point club. A decisive victory here on Moscow Hardpoint to start off this series. Honestly, Florida just looked dominant in every single way that map. Not only were their rotations on point, were their breaks on point, their setups were on point, and it all really just came down to one thing. It really just came down... they're here to see some good quality COD. Ignoring the, some of the CDL action going on for some good COD Rec League action. We love it out here. But it's going to be... Florida Muteteers going to be on the attacking side first. They're up 1-0 in the series. If you're just joining us, we got some Platinum Mix action for you. Be sure to use those Shanna points. Get those predictions in. As they're going to start moving up towards this A site. Looking for some kills. Looks like it's going to be Sash getting the first blood on Sputnik. Good start for them as they're starting to move on through. It's going to be Spices kind of moving up through Raid. Big Foo going to grab Sampy as well. Look how quickly Florida is just moving through. They're not afraid of anything. They're just pushing through this and just grabbing every chow they can. And now the bomb's going to be planted. Hey, what a great start here for Florida.
Yeah, they honestly just have all the map control right now. They're patrolling middle, and honestly, New York, you just have to throw more shoulders. Right now, you're ego challenging everything. You're not winning any of these gunfights. You have to be willing to just throw the shoulders and wait for your teammates if you want to get something done as a team. And honestly, with Sadman and Diver Jim kind of stuck in this P5 area, that's going to be hard for them to break on the site. Kill four players from Florida and then defuse the bomb in only a few seconds, and Big Blue's going to make it tougher. Taking down one. Diver Jim has a little bit of fight in him, but this is most certainly impossible now with only 10 seconds on the clock the slide shout comes out and florida with the dominant round one uh, okay so the, the the streak continues here for florida the dominance continues the aggressive plays and they just they just know that how good they are and they're showing it an aggressive a push they just weren't afraid of taking any risk there pushing all the way through laundry right off the bat and all they had to do was just make sure nobody was pushing through laundry in new york just didn't answer in the way uh, that they needed to, which they probably need to try to match the aggression in some way and get some of these kills back. It's going to make all the difference here, especially as they're on the attack here. Yeah, I was always told if you could not win a straight-up gunfight, you have to play that rap style. Throw your shoulders, wait for your teammates, take prones, but as I say, that Diver Jim wins a nasty one, and Sampy picks up another one, and we are answered right back with a round of New York's own, but Big Foo, he's not going to give up yet, and he's in an infinitely more possible 1-2 scenario. As a minute left on the clock, Spotnik with the bomb over towards the A site. Him and Sadman going to try to do it right here. Sadman all the way in the back watching for that flank around. But it's going to be Big Foo going to move over towards the laundry area. Going to see if he's going to move over towards mid or if he's going to go all the way through laundry. I think he's just going to wait for the bomb to go down. It looks like Spotnik's about to do just that. A couple final checks. Oh, look at this. Big Foo might just catch him. I'm not sure. He's going to wait. He's going to wait. He's just going to wait this out. Going to go over towards the back. of Spotnik will get the bomb down over on A. Now Big Foo. He's gonna wait now. He's gonna try to get some type of look. He's gonna look for Sadman. Not gonna be able to get him. Oh, probably like five HP off there. He tries to look for rocks, but Spunk has already moved over towards pillars here. But the comms are definitely in for New York. 30 seconds on the clock. Big Foo's gotta go big. Yeah, with only 25 seconds now, he has to make a play, and Sadman, Spugnate, they're just making the right plays. They heard me say, throw more shoulders, play like a rat, and that's exactly what they're doing in this 1v2, and they're right next to each other. Ooh. No one even knows it, but Sadman <laughs> finally gets taken down. All Spugnate has to do now is just throw shoulders for three more seconds. Don't let Big Foo chow out, and he's done it. That's going to be the 1v3 clutch. He's going to check the bomb now. Ooh. He wins the gunfight anyway, and New York subpar answer back very nicely. Hey, that's what you needed. That's what you needed. A great start there for New York. Right at the back, getting two down very quickly. And three, putting in Big Foo in just a, just a really bad predicament there towards the end. So New York is here to play, man. Don't count them out quite yet. I know we've seen some crazy plays out of Florida start off this series. But New York's here for a reason too, man. Don't count them out. Yeah, honestly, that, that round was not expected. I thought they were just going to run at that bomb site, get shut down. It was going to be another 4v1. But New York surprised me. They told me wrong, and I hope to see more plays like that in the future of this SMD. But now Sputnik patrolling this top ring area takes down Soch P. He's going to shoulder throw that one over. He's got the info on Big Foo. We're going to see some of the teammates run over, and Big Foo nades himself. That's not the play you want to see, unfortunately. But New York's up par. They've got the dominating map control. So Spice is going to grab one right back, even up the score. Sampy's going to grab Swift, though. New York just punching Florida right in the face after such a weak start for them after that first map. But this is what they needed to do. But now it's going to be up to Florida to try to adjust for this as it's not going to be 2v2 as Big Foo evens the score once again for Florida. The bomb has been picked up 45 on the clock. Now it's going to be Spices and Big Foo going to try to figure out what to do. Yeah, it's a huge kill by Big Foo onto Sampy. He takes down the Roamer, evens it up with no potential trade possible. That's really, really huge for this round. And now they've evened it up. They have full control of this B site. Bomb will almost certainly go down in Spudnik. You know, Driver Jim, I can't fault them for playing this 50-50, but now they're going to have to make a maneuver. They're going to have to pick which way they want to hit this. It looks like they're going to choose the most native side to them. Going to go for this basketball slash money push. But the question is, can they find both kills, trading, each other out find a way to win this round well i like that they're at least playing together not trying to spread out too much they got to get each other's trades if one of them does end up going down but they are making the play going right in between the florida sandwich that's set up and as i say that diver jim answering right back it's gonna be 1v1 56 i think he knows where spices is but he's gonna go up and check he's just gonna go for the defuse spice is gonna come around the back is diver gonna be ready for him nope spice is gonna win that one great reads out of spices great comeback here out of florida to make it 2-1 
Yeah, that was almost an absolutely insane 2v2 clutch for New York. And this kill, like I said, was really the turning point there. Sampy gets that kill. It's most definitely a round win. Or if he just backs up, it's probably going to be an easier retake. But can't fault him for roaming. I do it a bit myself. So no harm done, no foul. You're only down one round. You can certainly reply here on this offense. Yeah, absolutely, can. It seems like it's been the attacker's rounds so far here on this raid search. It's not something you see very often. You usually see really strong defenses at a lot of these teams. Uh oh, that's not a great start. Spice just takes out his own teammate with that grenade inside a kitchen. It's not really what you want to see here, but New York going to try to look to take advantage. And now in an early 4v3. Yeah, now Florida going to have to play down a man, but Sach evens it up pretty quickly. Actually puts it back in their favor, finds two, and Spices makes up for it. He goes one for one on the round, teammates to enemies, and Diver Jim was, had teammates at one point, but they're all gone now. Absolutely no teammates at all, nothing on the mini-map, just him, himself, and his Krig. He's going to look around the driveway side, try to get some information. The bomb is dropped right in the middle. He's going to fight Satch. That's a great Ooh. kill. What a good headshot there. Good pick out of him. He's got 40 seconds to go, but he's still got a lot of work to do. 1v2. He's got to get the bomb or try to get these kills. Big Food and Spice is just going to hold these angles. And we're not going to check this right side. He's going to get shot in the back. For the Muteers, catastrophic start, but they turned it right around and made it 3-1. Yeah, I'm not even sure how all of this happened. It went down so fast. Saj picks up a massive two-piece here. Really just helps secure that round if the trade comes through. That site control probably goes the way in New York, and that's probably a round win for them. But Saj comes up clutch, finds the two-piece. They get the map control back. A Spices clear was up the middle. And at that point, it was just an easy three versus one. So it's going to be Florida back on the attacking side once again. Ooh, look at this move. Is it going to be just a mid push here? It looks like it is. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. Kills coming all over the place. Diver going to grab two. Sash going to grab two. What just happened? It's Spice in a 1v2. He's got the bomb. Him versus Sampy and Diver James. Everybody's just like, ah, right, you know what? We're just going to go in the middle and just hatch this out like men. Yeah, that was the. That's kind of what you want to see. That's how. That's how they played back in the olden days. That's how pubs are. You know, you just run at the middle. You hope to get the kills. And New York have won the gamble this time in two v one. Now Sampy certainly got that info. So now they're just gonna hold these pushes. Sampy getting pushed now from Spices and Diver Jim. He's on the flank. Spices made the read, but he has to turn back around now. The challenge oh. comes through and Sampy wins a nice gunfight there. And New York subpar outgun him in the middle for round number five. I, I don't even know what to analyze about that round other than, okay, sure, why not? Everybody just went mid and it was just yeah. guns ablaze. I don't, I don't really know what to say <laughs> about that. Maybe just don't do that again. I don't know. I really yeah, don't know please. what to say about it's, that. It's so hard to talk about, you know, people just <laughs> running and shooting at each other. Yeah, not 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 the not something we see very often. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before, especially in a high-level platinum game. But that was a double blind counter. Yeah, but what? What, I was like, what are you guys You're doing? doing <laughs> Spunny's gonna grab one though. Florida didn't get the memo on that one as they only had one or two over towards the mid side and they paid the price for it. And Spunny's gonna grab a kill there on Spices and it's 4v3 in New York subpar after just defying everything I just said. I'm pretty sure New York were like, hey guys, that worked for us last round. Let's just do it again. And that's exactly what they do. They push through, but now they're kind of in a predicament. Both of their sites are controlled and they're all like stuck in the middle now. The sites are controlled by the ARs as well. So it's going to be hard to push out Swift though. He's going to be holding on to this kitchen area. So the push comes through that way and it most certainly is now. They all run at him. He finds Sampy. Has one health left. Finally gets traded now three versus two both players are stuck on one bomb site So it's practically a two separate three versus one big two finds one Maybe he does there Sputnik goes down sad man super weak and here comes the rotation by Sach It's gonna be 2v2 23 seconds on the clock the bomb gonna try to get picked up a Sach gonna run is it no sad man oh, on that flight. Oh, How on oh. earth sad man was able to just warrior that one take Satch out 1v2 it's up to big food who's gonna grab one 13 seconds on the clock but it's going to be Sam who's got to pick up the bomb, and he's not going to be able to do it. Florida taking us to the swing round. It's 4-2. to two. Honestly, that was... Uh, you know how you see the probability charts between who's more likely to win the game in sports? That round was like a wave. New York subpar came out dominant. They had all of the map control, and then Sampy gets taken down, so it, it kind of dips a little bit, but they get the trade, so it's back up there, and then everything just happens in a flash, and Florida somehow come out on top.
Oh uh, yeah, that's the perfect way to describe it. I would have loved to see like a live percentage counter or something. We need we need those advanced analytics in the CRO now. I need that in my life. I need that HUD up during this entire uh, match here. That's gonna, that, that, that was had to be really interesting for that type of mathematics. As it's gonna be Florida back on the attacking side, moving over towards A once again. And man, just look at the KDs right now, man. Big Foo carrying right now. Ten and three, just completely outslaying basically all of New York right now as they start to make this aggressive push over towards A. New York though with mid map control. Yeah, so they've really just traded out for this A site control with having the middle control with Swift. He's punishing that decision quickly as he's pushing into back kitchen, finds the kill. He just says, nah, I'm fine with one, but here comes the push from Sadman, and Swift finds that one as well. The rotation point man this guy is, and he's just making New York subpar punished for their mistakes of not washing the flanks. And now it's a 4v2 situation with Diver Jim and Sputnik going to start to move over towards the laundry side. But that information is going to come in as a flash comes in. Swift with the Ego Chow. Sputnik going to take that one. But the trait is there. As Spice is going to grab that one. It's Diver Jim in a 1v3. He's got 21 seconds on the clock. He's just got to try to make a play at this point. But Spices knows better. He's going to be able to get that. And he's going to bring us to game point. Yeah, honestly, just dominant stuff from Florida most of these rounds. New York subpar tried the four mid push once again, but this time did not work out, especially when you're going to be sacrificing two full side controls if Florida wanted to go B there. However, B probably more manageable due to that open steps, you know, that open space there, that linearity. But pillars much, much harder to see the angles through, much harder to get those kills and ring, and that A push just shuts everything down for New York. You know, I, I might sound like a broken record about this, but I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a raid search game where mid-map control was almost a priority in almost exaggerated way. Like, and they keep going there, and they keep trying to find that control of everything, and it works. I mean, we had those couple weird rounds where it just ended up being a, just like a total Donnie book in the middle, but for the most part, they seem to be looking for that more than anything else. It looks like they don't mind giving up bomb sites. As I say that, though, it's going to be a B push right now for New York. The first one I think we've seen so far in this uh, raid search here. Yeah, I also like this play by New York. They're playing a little bit slower, trying to probe out their ankles, find the kills that they need. And they got the first blood because of that, you know, sad man watching this flank. And so that's going to give them a bit of wiggle room here. But the angles that Florida are holding are just so dominant on these crosses. They have to figure out a way to get Sputnik to this bomb and get it down. But the, the push, the angles, everything. Spice is going to find some shots on the diver, but he's going to quickly get around. And Big Foo, he's going to be the main man, the main person to challenge. And Soch finds that kill on the flank. Even up the score 27 seconds ago, New York just got to have to make a play. They're going to get on the bomb site, but they got to get it down. But, oh, but look at this push. It's going to be Satchel Spice. It's about to do some absolute damage. And Satchel going to stop the bomb play. Big Foo going to grab Diver. And all of a sudden, it's Sammy by himself. 1v3. He's going to grab Satchel. That's actually a really good kill on the open side. But he's only got 13 seconds left. He's got to make a play. Florida just going to wait for them, him to come to them. But it's not going to be enough. Florida Meteors continuing their dominance. Really shaky start in the beginning, but they just completely dominated the rest of the way. They win 6-2 and make the series 2-0. Honestly, a couple of situations go slightly better. New York better. subpar and Florida Muteteer is, is currently up 2-0. And do I see do I see a Fafar right there? Zenny? Is that what I'm looking at right now? And it does it does appear to be a Fafar. Yes, it does. Oh boy, that's that's gonna that's gonna ruffle some feathers, I'm sure. Diver Jim gonna take the far and go dark with it and gonna start looking for some first bloods here. As they start moving up, on the, uh, it's going to be New York on the attacking side first, I should mention. They start moving up towards that B site, but look at Florida right away. Just getting the kills they need to, getting all the beams and everything. Now here comes Satch. He's going to find Sampy. He's going to look dark. He definitely saw him. He's going for Diver Jam. He's going to be able to shove it right back in his face. Good two-piece there from Satch. And now New York automatically just getting stuck in a spawn trap. Honestly, though, I'm highly, highly scared what New York plan to do in order to get out of the spawn trap. You know, those angles <laughs> like Top Cat can be so, so devastating if you don't have a solid Craig in order to take them down. But it looks oh, like no. the push is no other. But Spice is in the spawn. Unfortunately, only finds one now. And Spudnik, you know, he's has the reinforcements of his team. He's going to be able to get in the lights. And here comes the flood from Florida. Up the regain to put Florida back into their spawn. And New York starting to make some progress here on this B site. They got one tick looking to get the second as Diver Jim making some plays over towards Light. Spice is going to grab Stampy. A Nega coming at Diver just going to avoid that. I think from, from his own teammate. Now a second tick comes in. Now Sat going to try to make one final play alongside Swift. But so far it looks like New York has been able to regain here on this B point. Honestly, uh, so New York, I guess the FFARs are what they needed. They break onto zone B, bye-bye it goes, and that's the perfect, perfect play. You know, they took the regain off of an easy four down for Florida. They figure out what they need to do. They get the kills, they stack the point, and now they're just running into the spawn. 
Yep, just moving on out. The B site is grabbed. It's now going to be all down to the A site. Sadman going to look for that green control. So coveted here on this type of push. Spice is preventing the brick push there as he takes down Sampy. But Diver Jim with FFAR just making the great play again over towards the backside. Swift going to clean up Sputnik. So, so far, Florida holding on. Lives are in favor of New York, though, by about four. And Florida's really going to have to make a big stand here. All series, we've seen Florida just absolutely outslay New York, and now the opposite is true. Only by three, though, which will certainly be an advantage come the later part of this control. But Florida are trying to even it up already. Swift finds a huge two-piece in order to get it back to around even, but the kills just keep going the way. Back and forth, back and forth we go. Only one life advantage now for New York, as they have to rally for this push, probably through green. Is what Florida needed. Look, they're trying to push the spawn trap again. Spice is going to look for Sandman. Is he going to be able to get him? Just checking the corner. Checking the He's going to find Spunnik. Is he going to be able to find Oh, good play out of Spice. As he picked up Sandman as well. New York trapped once again. And look at the lives going to 10 to 8 in favor of Florida with 22 seconds to go. New York have a tall order ahead of them here. If they have any chance of bringing this back, but they got to go and they got to go now. Yeah, the kills are back and forth still. Soch P, though, controlling that top cat area. He's going to be left alone now in the middle as he had to jump off. And three players from New York are going to be able to hop on. They're so, so close to capping this that they can find another couple of players to stack. They cleaned up Soch P in the middle. They have a one life advantage. It's halfway through. The push is starting to develop from Florida, though. They have to go through bricks. Swift, though, he takes early damage. The push, though, the swing from Big Foo finds that early kill. The slides are coming Whoa. through. It's back and forth. Sach is finding all the kills. But Nick, he's going to be the last one alive in the one. V2. Sash peeks it wide, finds the kill, and with 10 seconds left, no respawns remaining. New York subpar, they have to touch, but I'm not even sure if they're close enough. They're going to try to push their backs, but they do have two up on that flat side. Satch is going to grab Diver Jim. It's going to be all down to Sampy, but he's not going to be able to make the play. Florida with a big hold there on that A site to bring it back after such a strong start there out of New York, and it's going to be 1 0. Yeah, honestly, that was a much, much closer round than I expected for New York. But eventually, Florida hit the massive regain. They get a huge, uh, pretty much go on a huge spree as a, um, like as a unit, as a team. All Every single one of them were finding two pieces, three pieces in the middle, cleaning up kills, Swift, Spices, Soch, all of them playing their angles properly. They minimize the lives that New York has, and even... At the very end, when New York looked like they had full control, they rally for one final push. They find the trades. They clean it off. Incredible, incredible round for Florida. Going to agree more, but don't take it away from New York there. They had a really strong start, so they can definitely hang with this Florida team here, but they have to just close it out. That's really all they got to work on at this point. And now they're going to be on the defensive side, and Big Foo going to start it off early here for Florida. Sputnik going to get a clean, though, as this looks like it's going to be Satch looking over towards that vent side, going to be looking over towards B, trying to find any type of information of where anybody from New York is. But look where Sadman is. He's going to be giving Satch a nice visit, and Satch going to try to punch him in the face, but Sadman's going to be able to clean that up. And now look where Spice is. Looking over towards that A site, trying to make the play here on Sputnik on top of play gonna get the jump shots in but it's just not quite enough oh i thought he turned on him that would have been so nasty if he was able to pick up diver jim but new york not letting that a push happen so uh happen it's gonna be a reset here for florida yeah, before though they can use this, they find their way on the B zone, but not says I, says Sputnik. He's going to find a massive two-piece. The nade takes him down to 10 health. He's almost dead, but staying alive just barely. The reinforcements now from Florida, they're building up their forces once again, but Diver Jim, Sputnik, they're finding all the kills. Unfortunately, Sash going to take down Sputnik up top, but Stampy, Diver Jim, they're helping clean up the rest. Sad man gets taken down by Spices as he's just patrolling the middle, and that's a huge two-piece, but Diver Jim still Crucial, crucial cuts, taking down the live count for Florida every single time. He's on a five spree. They were on five, 25 to go here for Florida, and they haven't even gotten a tick yet as they start moving towards A once again. But look at this stack here for New York. They know Florida's desperate, and now here comes the mid map push, looking for any type of avenue to get an A site. Two do go down for New York, though. Make it three, as it's going to be all up to Sadman on the inside, but he's going to go down as well. Look where Spice is in on top of the A zone, but he doesn't have any reinforcements with him. The rest of his team actually going to go on B. It's actually pretty clever because now all of New York moving over towards A first, not realizing there's a full stack on the B site. Yeah, and honestly, New York have to make that play in order to grab A, because if you throw all you can at B and you lose, you are most certainly going to lose B 100%, and you're also going to lose probably two ticks on A. You know, when you just looked at a risk versus reward scenario, going for that A point is just a much, much easier and simpler and more cost-effective, you know, strategy as opposed to trying to challenge B and then clear out A. 
And now look at this, Florida flipping the script here as they start mo moving in through bricks. They're only down a couple of lives. They do have a tick on the A site. 52 to go. And look at this big boo with the big two piece. Now Swift gonna come in for the initial contest. Sandman's up top! Not quite able to finish him. Sandman has to retreat over towards floating. And now here comes the stack. Two players on the inside, but I really like the setup. Look where big boo and spices are. Over towards the back, causing trouble for New York. They can't even get inside bricks right now. Spices was able to grab two, and now the desperate contest, but it's not play. going to be enough. What an amazing what round that are for the muted tears to bring that back. They were down to 12 seconds without a single tick and made an amazing split push to bring it right on back. It's just Florida continuing their dominance. Honestly, I think we just see the same thing over and over again throughout the series. Whenever there's a position that New York subpar look like they should win, Florida just have that clutch gene and they literally just clutch up all the time they find the right kills at the right moments they get in the right positions they have these weird setups that i'm not even sure they've scrimmed with and they're just finding and holding all of the right angles playing the you know pretty much as a cohesive unit they look like a pre-made team they absolutely do and don't look now sash has full streaks that's definitely going to come into handy especially if the b point does go down for them the a site is definitely going to be fully defended with those streaks later on in this game as sam trying to make the plays on top of floating and a couple kills back and forth nothing big yet new york making an initial play on b but once again florida stopping it early putting the brick wall up and trying to get him here at the spawn trap as they just have nowhere to go yeah, honestly, they're just stuck in the back. All the map control is going the way of Florida right now. Sachi patrolling that lane. They've got Big Foo up on the top cat. And they've got the subs pushed up in the spawn. It's so, so difficult for New York to find a way out of anything. But now there's their opening. They find a couple of kills there. But Spices responds with two of his own. And they're shoved right back in the spawn, man. Stuck right back in this artillery side as well. And Florida knows it. Look at this setup here. They have absolutely nowhere to go. Big Foo going to look for Sandman. Sam going to be on the inside. Oh, what a stick. <laughs> a Kobe there and a Big Foo just lobbing that one over garbage. Going to pick up Sam on the inside. Diver going to grab one. But Big Foo and Satch answer right back with two of their own. 25 seconds on the clock. New York is running out. Just look how far Florida is pushed up. They're literally in their spawn. Diver Jim going to try to make a play over towards B. He's got a little bit help this is going to be the push that they're going to need here but it looks like swift and spice are going to be in position for this but diver going to read that one going to get swept out going to read satch as well big play out of him so now here comes the push 9.7 on the clock new york has a little bit of life left yeah that two piece is definitely going to be the biggest play for new york that finds them the map control once again but spice is he's trying to find this one play that's going to be spreading on this a zone he's going to be the last remaining hope for new york subpar but he's going to get taken down now swift you know Spices are finding the kills in dark around the spawns, and that's going to be it with three seconds left on the clock. New York subpar can't touch. Florida's had map control the whole time, and it earns them the 3-0.